Hi, today I'm going to be reviewing my Declan Wilson book collection, all of the ones I've got so far. So I'm going to start with the non-series ones, which are at the bottom row here, and they're from Age, so I'm going to start with Candy Floss. This is by Declan Wilson, obviously, and it was made in... focus I'm just gonna look at it from the camera that, from the outside and it was made in 2006 by far the oldest in my collection and it's about a girl called Floss and she wants to go with her mum and her dad but she decides to stay home with her dad it is a it is a heartwarming tale but also heartbreaking in some parts I would definitely remember recommend it if you're a really good Jacqueline Wilson book fan. Now, it, now it's time for Jacqueline Wilson's story and it's My Secret Diary. Now I know this was made in 2009 because I've read it countless times and it is about Jacqueline's wife, life from her childhood to early teens and it is, and it is a very good book. I highly recommend it. And it is uh, and the front cover that I've got. Well, it isn't a front cover. It's it's in like a case, but the front cover on it. It is like it is like it's like a polished shine texture, and it also looks like it if you look at the view. And then we have Katie, which is made in two thousand and fifteen by Jacqueline Wilson, and it is like what Katie Tiddy so did so if your mom or nan or anyone has read it in your family then you can ask them what happens in it because i'm not going to give away any spoilers and also this is the butterfly club which was also made in 2015 and it's about a triplet called tina and she is bullied and then she gets and then she gets a friend who was actually her bully and it is a very good book it did have a cover but because I because I got it from a charity shop, it it didn't come with the cover, but it's a lovely red print. Uh, now the one of the now the newest one. This is Rent a Bridesmaid, and it is about a girl called Tilly. This was made in two thousand and sixteen, and it's one of the newest in my collection. And Rent a Bridesmaid. Were, is about a girl called Tilly who really wants to be a bridesmaid but she can't so this is like her story how she becomes a bridesmaid but I'm not going to give away any more than that because it is a new book oh so this, now I'm going on to my series of Hetty Feather books I have got all of them in the series and they are very good books. So the first book in the series is actually Hetty Feather, which was published in 2010 by Jacqueline Wilson. And it, and it is illustrated by Nick Sherratt, like all of these books. Well done, because your illustrations are amazing. And it has a sneak peek of the Wandy Swale song inside. And it is about a girl called Hetty Feather who needs to go back to the family hospital. And when she did, she gets punished. She meets a circus lady. She has two horrible matrons. And it's just amazing. Isn't it matron? Yeah, two horrible matrons. And it's just and it's just an amazing book. I definitely recommend it. Next one in the series is Sapphire Battersea. And this book stars... Sapphire Battersea, formerly known as Hattie Feather, Jem, her childhood sweetheart, Bertie, who will be her new sweetheart in Little Stars over there, a fantastic feeder, the female giant, Emerald, the amazing mermaid, Madam Bernice, linked to the spirit world, uh, Mrs. Brisket, the formidable housekeeper, and Ida, her beloved mother. Then the next book in the series is Emerald Star and this features her long lost father, her beloved Gem and a mysterious figure from her past which you will know if you've actually read the series which I know lots of you have and it also says Hetty's search for a happy ending this was meant to be the last book 
but it wasn't because they she made because that queen made a lot more. Now this is diamond. It does feature Hetty Feather in half the story, but I, so I'm still going to put it in the Hetty in the Hetty Feather series. Now it's Madame Adeline, Beppo the Clown, uh, Elijah the Elephant, the Silver Boys, and Mr. Marvel and his monkey. And if you can see down here, it says with a very special guest, Hetty Feather. Performing the one and only Emerald Star. So it does feature Hattie Feather. Also, now we have Little Stars. And if you've not already noticed, they have all this like circus type of things that says their names. And I think that is very good. And also, in this is Little Stars. And Hetty gets a sweetheart, which is Bertie, and it says here, Stardom thrills, heartbreak, love. And it stars Marina Royal, Hetty's new heroine, uh, Mrs. Gibson, dressmaker of the stars, Mrs. Ruby, um, mistress of the music hall. Madeline, their most treasured friend, dear Jem, Hetty's true, Hetty's first love, and flirty but dirty, which is Hetty's sweetheart, which you saw here. And uh, and um, yes, this is this is one of the last. This is the last book in the series technically, but there is another book, book that features the young Hetty Feather. So that's a very good book, and it's also the thickest in the series. And now this is Clover Moon, and it has young Hetty Feather in it. And the blurb says, "When my mother named me, she must have been thinking of a lucky four-leaf clover. I'm sure mother wanted me to be lucky." And I can prove that it features Hetty. Um, just check. Because there are a lot of chapters in this book. I just need to check it over so I can find it. it won't take a minute. Here it is. Um, as you can see, this is a shadow of Hetty Feather, which you can see in this book here. So it is also part of the Hetty Feather series. And this is about a girl called Clover who lives in the street and then she goes to London to find a girl's home. It is not the Foundling Hospital, unfortunately, but it is very good, but it, but it is a good home. So here's all my series of, of um, Jacqueline Wilson book. Well done to Jacqueline for writing them. And they are... They're just amazing, and I think we all, and th and I think Nick Charlotte deserves a well done for the illustrations as well. So this is a so it's a very good series of my normal books, and then my Hetty Feather books, which I have been collecting, and I got this one for my birthday. So thank you for watching, see you in the next one, bye!